Emeril Lagasse, welcome to Emeril Live! Hey, you know, folks, my inbox is always full of emails these days telling me about, like, dishes you like to make or how I can help you out there with that chicken recipe or something, you know? And I really enjoy uh, trying some of them out, especially uh, the ones that are made from scratch. It's a huge difference from when we first started. Well, we won't say how many years ago that was. <laughs> and now, because uh, everybody's like into it, you know? They're making things and cooking and having little potluck dinners and, yeah. <laughs> so tonight, grab your canning jars, your secret recipe stash, because tonight it's all gonna be homemade by you. Yeah! Speaking about homemade. homemade, homemade, homemade. Doc Gibbs in the Emerald Live Band. Homemade, homemade. Like Doc Gibbs in the Emerald Live Band. We're going to be cooking meals from scratch tonight right here on Emerald Live. Big show for you tonight, folks. Big, big, big show. How's everybody doing? All right? Yeah. How you doing there, boys? Oh, man. Must be uh, the end of the week. <laughs> no, we don't say what days anymore. We just say the end of the week. Week, yeah. week. Yeah. Feeling all right tonight? Feeling good. Feeling homemade. Dr. Sturkey's feeling homemade. That's right. Yeah. Got a little homemade tune in that Rolling X6 there, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> Got to tell you something, folks. You know, our latest contest was a little different this time. I have to tell you. Because the contest was that we asked you to make a basic ingredient, and then I would use it in one of my recipes. So you made the basic ingredient, and I make the recipe. <laughs> Let's see what the first winner had in mind. Take a look. Namaste, Emerald Ji. My name is Nidhi Gupta. Hai. Aapka swagat hai Columbus, Ohio. Mein. Aaj main aapko paneer cheese banana sikhaungi. Making paneer is very simple. We'll just start off with one gallon of milk and some vinegar. And we'll keep on stirring the milk the whole time so that it doesn't stick to the bottom and burn. This is the type of bubbles that gonna form on the surface of the milk. And this is the time when you know that you have to pour vinegar in it. Little by little, the vinegar is doing its thing and the cheese is getting separated from the milk. We are looking for this vibrant green color. So that's when you know that your cheese is complete. Wash the cheese because we have to take out that vinegar content. Take the cheese cloth. We'll just squeeze it as much as we can. OK, Emeril, here comes the secret ingredient. And we leave it like this for eight hours so that all the excess water will come out. <laughs> Emeril, we do some workout while making cheese in India. Just kidding. Emeril, we can make a lot of Indian dishes with paneer. We can fry it in which we serve it, we can bake it, and we can steam it too. Let's make our first batch. Hey, Emeril, these are my dishes. Now I can't wait to see what are you going to make with my paneer cheese. Yeah. 
So we have Nidhi Gupta. Right. I said that right. Right. Nidhi Gupta. Right. See that? I'm just. <laughs> Nidhi Gupta from Columbus, Ohio. Right. Paneer. Yeah. I love Paneer. I'm going to show the folks at home real quick one of the ones that we made by your recipe. Okay. Very, very simple. Cheese, what it is. The recipe that I'm choosing to uh, make with paneer is a butternut squash soup. So we're first, real simple, going to take a butternut squash. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this in half. And then we're going to go down the other side here, cutting this in half. And then what we want to do is we want to clean out the seeds of the butternut squash. So we'll just make a mess and do this right here on the board. Real simple. So you can fry paneer, steam it. Bake it. Bake it. Right. Or eat it raw. Or eat it raw, You're yes. Right. And is it popular eating uh, paneer raw? Yeah, it is very popular. On bread? On anything. On anything? Yeah, like spinach. On spinach, yes. Yeah. And we make a lot of parathas that are an Indian bread. Yes. So that's, that's kind of very popular in India. Excellent. We're going to take this butternut squash with a little olive oil and then a little salt and pepper. And then we're just going to turn this over on the parchment paper at 400 degrees and we're going to bake it. When we come back, I'm going to show you how to make this butternut squash soup. However, Take out your notepads because we're going to make a little paneer, <laughs> your style. Right. Stick around. We'll be right back. Doc Gibbs. The paneer is made, so we have that there, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just milk. Milk and white vinegar. vinegar, yeah. And then you have to rinse it really, really good yeah, so yeah. it doesn't taste like vinegar. Right. Standard cheese, no rennet. No. Most cheeses have rennet. Now the soup, a little olive oil. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take good curry, mm -hmm. and we're going to toast it. Oh, yeah, babe. <laughs> It's toasting. Can you smell that already? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we're going to add a little onion, carrots, a little celery, some ginger, and lots of garlic. Now, while that's happening there, we're going to uh, add a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we're going to come about an hour, the acorn squash. Jay, everything all right over there? <laughs> now he's going to go harass the woman. <laughs> I'm not going there. Keep it G, Jay, please. <laughs> please, you already got a split in your pants. <laughs> now. Ah, we had a little problem with the butternut squash earlier. Anyhow, so you add the squash in there. Sorry, folks. Just trying to switch to the Bobby Flay show for a minute. <laughs> All right, now we're going to add the squash in there and, uh, and the chicken broth. You're going to bring this up to a boil right now. How am I doing? Okay, so far? Very nice. All right, thank you. Now, bring this up to a boil. We're going to let it simmer for 45 minutes minutes or so and then what we're going to do is we're going to take two thin pieces of bread and we're going to take a little butter oh yeah babe <laughs> both sides here and then what we're going to do is sort of make this little sandwich so we'll let that sort of make a little sandwich right there 
Now, 45 minutes goes by. This is what the soup looks like right here. Now you can ask yourself if you want to keep it rustic like this, mm -hmm. which I have no problem with, or you can decide that you want to get the boat motor <laughs> and come and just puree it down a little bit. If you're going to do that, you might want to add a little cream just to sort of not only get a little texture on your palate, but just to lighten it up a little bit. Oh, yeah, babe. Oh. Looks great. Now, now what we're going to do here, flip over our little sandwich. Then I'm going to take a little turmeric like this with a little olive oil, and I'm going to make a little turmeric oil. Then you have turmeric oil like, like that there. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to taste the butternut soup here, squash soup. Hmm. Hmm. And that's when your brain says, well, add just a little bit more salt. It doesn't need any pepper. So now we're going to get a little bit of the cheese, the paneer, mm -hmm. and I'm going to now cheat. So I'm going to take this off like this and put some of this in the sandwich. And then flatten it down. And then what we're going to do is this. We're going to take the butternut squash soup. <laughs> and have a little bowl of that. We're gonna take a little bit of cilantro. Put a little cilantro there. Take our sandwich. Woo! <laughs> Set that right on there. And then we're gonna take that little bit of turmeric oil. <laughs> and there you have it, just like that, folks. Okay, a little butternut squash soup right there. Hope you like it. Yeah. Hey, when we come back, what do you see the next recipe from scratch? Stick around. Back there. Joe Ray from Arkadelphia, Arkansas, and